What I have here is part of a, a large archive, which was the fir world's first television producer, his own notes and so on. He knew what he was doing was important. He had an unduplicated post from the BBC before the, first, before the Second World War. What we have here is a book just on the opening day of the first television station, public television station in the world, the BBC, 2nd of November, 1936. And here are all the internal things. Here's how it's going to be laid out, the speeches and so on, the people's making the speeches for the opening ceremony. And this is what it looked like in practice. That's the EMI system. They did it. The BBC had two systems. There was a bad system, on a film negative system, where they took a film and developed it in 90 seconds and transmitted it and on 240 lines. And there was the Marconi EMI system, which was 405 lines. They tossed a coin to see who would go first, and the bad system went first. So that fired off. And we have all the emergency announcements for the bad system, things like uh, all, the, all, all the speeches given, and so on. And we run through, and once we've got through that lot, hold, pause, etc. We then reach the end of the bad system. There's an intermission. And then the people, are, the viewers, and there are probably thought to be 500 sets available on the first day of television in the world. The viewers are told to switch the switch on their television set from 240 lines to 405 lines. And then after a quarter of an hour, the whole thing was repeated on the Marconi EMI system. So we have exactly the same thing running through. And we have the speeches. The Marconi EMI system is a much more sophisticated system. It uses different cameras, so you can mix between them. Here are the actual statements done online at the time. This is who's working notes. Here are the emergency announcements in case it broke down. If it's going to break down for five minutes, quarter of an hour, half an hour, if it's going to have to be cancelled completely. And the music that was going to be played in between, incidentally, if it broke down. Then we have all the speeches again. This is great fun. They're all in carbon copy because it's the second time round. <laughs> It is worth mentioning that the BBC, for its opening programme, the first public television service in the world, started with a repeat. Having gone through the whole thing, you then get to the end. And when we get to the end, you actually have history written. There it is. Fade out, sound and vision, two exclamation marks, give the studio all clear. That was actually, all, it had to have been written on air. That's the clearance of the studio, day one television in the world. <laughs>